Upon resumption from its three-week Easter break, the House commenced plenary with Speaker Yakubu Dogara welcoming members and urging them to ensure effective budget implementation through legislative oversight. I should also like to put on notice the person to our legislative agenda. We shall soon be commencing our program on sectoral debates. Members thereafter considered a motion moved by Representative Nicholas Osai from Delta State advising the House to constitute an ad hoc committee to investigate a letter purportedly written by the Attorney General of the Federation to the Inspector General of Police on the takeover of Kogi State Assembly. That this Honorable House resolved to invite the Attorney General of the Federation to explain the rationale behind his unwarranted affront on the, on the National Assembly. That as we speak, there has not been any court process served on this Honorable House. The utterances of the Attorney General in respect of this matter I think borders on executive arrogance and executive recklessness. Then I think that letter indirectly seeks nothing but anarchy. But I would want to appeal that guided by these clear principles of fair hearing, let him come and face the committee on judiciary. He is sound, he knows what he's doing, but I believe that he has erred in this area. Meanwhile, the Chairman House Committee on Agricultural Production and Services, Representative Mohamed Munganu, has shed more lights on the alleged removal of some allocations to agriculture in the 2016 budget. We reduce 1.7 billion naira from the ministry's budget and 3 billion uh, naira from the budget of the various agencies and then use it for the purpose of the training and empowerment of youths and women in various aspects of agriculture spread across the nooks and crannies of this country. He noted that agricultural development remains one of the priority areas for the National Assembly. From the National Assembly, Ignatius Nkwo, NTN News.